You will not have missed it. La Vuelta a España 2022 started in the Netherlands and the Dutch turned it into a party. Thursday the 18th of August, the teams were presented in Utrecht. The team buses arrived in the centre and the bikes were unloaded. Soon the racers were ready to ride to the stage via the shopping mall and the city's main square. They were presented one by one to the enthusiastic audience. Broadcast live, some riders were interviewed, but it wasn't over yet. Flags were ready and so were the boats. The teams took a boat tour on Utrecht's reconstructed Old Canal, while thousands cheered them on. They hadn't experienced anything like this before, said some of them later. And it was obvious that many were enjoying themselves. The people of Utrecht had found great spots on the waterfront where they could watch the presentation live on big screens. Naturally, the home team got some extra cheers. While some of the guys seemed overwhelmed by so much attention, others recorded everything themselves, and yet others worked as a team to really rock the boat. The Spanish flag flew on City Hall of Cerro Rombos, where the circus moved to on the 20th of August. While everything was being prepared for the start of stage 2, the people of Cerro Rombos were also in the mood for a party. Even before the stage began, children followed the drum clinic. Or they tried out a mountain bike. Some still too young for a pedal bike. The actual race was preceded by a huge number of vehicles. But soon enough, the peloton rode the neutral start of stage 2 in Cerro Rombos's narrow streets. A single bollard almost stopped the peloton, but luckily there were no falls here. Yet another reason to really get the party going. While the tour buses were still stuck in the historic center. A Vuelta themed carnival float, a well known tradition in Cerro Rombos, showed the riders on their way from the three Dutch cities to Madrid, chased by a Spanish bull and the Cerro Rombos dragon. The people of Cerro Rombos danced in the sun waving the Spanish flag, eating paella and shouting the start of the Vuelta in the Netherlands was a huge success.